Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's Friday, April 22nd, 2016, and get ready to learn about a high school that's completely on the internet? More on this in a bit. Also, sweet treats seem to be the theme of the day. Find out what today's holiday is, all this and more on AM in the AM. What's up, Falcons? Welcome to AM in the AM, giving you 10 minutes of the top need-to-know news here at the Hill. Let's kick off the show with what's going on around the hill with Taylor Cleveland. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, guys. Starting off with physics club, there's a mandatory meeting in room 325 today after school for everyone going on the physics day trip to Six Flags Magic Mountain. The trip is on May 6th. From one amusement park to another, don't forget to have all of your money for grad night turned into the banker. The deadline is May 1st. If you're planning on going to grad night, you should have already turned in your down payment in March, so all you have left to pay is the remainder. The school year is less than 30 school days from being over. That means a lot of you Falcons need to sign up for summer school. If you plan on taking classes online, then you need to log on and make an account. Go to fsnews.com and click on the link to NV Learning Academy. Afterwards, see your counselor to get enrolled. What better way to end the year than with a pizza party? All next week, Foothill is having a mammoth penny push in all fifth period classrooms. Bring any pennies you can get your hands on and they'll go towards the Tool Springs Fossil Beds National Monument. The pennies will be counted at the end of the week and the class with the most gets the pizza party. Foothill Band has been to a lot of places out of the city, but this weekend they're performing right here in Henderson. The Henderson Heritage Parade is tomorrow on Water Street from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Honor, to honor Henderson's history and heritage by showing up and taking part in some of the family-friendly activities and by supporting your high school band. That's all that's going on around the hill. Now back to Ariel Marquise to talk smack. So I heard most of you have heard of Smack High. And whether you have a Twitter or not, most of us seem to hear about the tweets, what they put out no matter what. It kind of seems to be a subject students are always buzzing about, but no one really knows anything about how it works on the inside except, well, the people on the inside. Smack High is a combination of over 50 Twitter accounts spanning across the United States and Canada. More than half of the United States has at least one Smack High account. These Twitter accounts are infamous for badmouthing high schools, also known as Talking Smack. These Twitter accounts are run by high school students, also known as Smack High representatives. What goes into being a Smack High representative, and how does it work? I wanted to cover as a Smack High rep to find out. It starts with an application, then an email, and finally a phone interview. If the interview goes well, you get the job, as well as a copy of the ethical standards. Smack High has a list of do's and don'ts to explain what is good to post and what isn't. The don'ts include, but aren't limited to, excessive profanity, sexually suggestive content, and cyberbullying. Some of these rules aren't followed by the reps, but it all falls on the managers of Smack High to decide what gets deleted and what stays on the Smack High accounts. Smack High reps are not paid, but it is not without benefits. You can enter shoutout contests where the winner gets their Twitter handle broadcasted on the Smack High account, and that's it. Smack High requires a lot of time and dedication, a lot of effort with little reward, and Bad by the High Schools hardly qualifies as job experience. Sure, they have ethics, but the bad far outweighs the good here at Smack High. Marquise Parker, FST News. Coming up after the break, learn about another business that might be the perfect place to put your skills to work during the job spotlight. We'll be right back. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. Welcome back. There are tons of different routes you can take to getting your high school diploma. A perfect example of this is how you can take a 
how juniors and seniors can substitute their English class for a not-so-traditional alternative. Reporter Angela Ely tells us more. Young, empowered, and skilled, Yes Incorporated is an English class that doubles as a career and technical business class. This class lasts two periods. Juniors and seniors can enroll in the program. This class helps students gain experience in doing things like applying for jobs and giving speeches. Senior and Yes Incorporated Vice President Ashley Looney explains what skills the program has helped her with. The skills I get from Yes pretty much bonding, um, speaking in front of an audience where I was never able to, um, being more confident in my speeches. Compared to a traditional English class, YES has more of a business aspect to it, which prepares students for the workplace. Senior and YES Incorporated President Philip Friedman explains why he would recommend YES. I would recommend it on a scale of 1 in 10, I would recommend it 1,000. This is a class that changes people's lives for the better and makes people successful. Students receive all their work at the start of the quarter, but can go at their own pace. This allows students to understand what it means to have a job, and if they stay on task, they will be successful. If you're an incoming junior, please join the Yes Incorporated class. We're looking for new kids to join in, and we don't want just anybody. We want those kids who want to do something with their life and become successful. For Jeremy Crohonen, I'm Angela Ely, FST News. For more information on different classes you can take to get the credits you need, make sure to talk to your counselor. A new club is coming to Foothill. Foothill teacher Don Lockett is organizing a dragon boating team, and you're invited to join. Dragon boating is a competitive sport that involves paddling on a dragon-shaped boat with multiple people. The team is competing in the Rose Regatta, a dragon boating competition held in Lake Las Vegas every year to help raise money for St. Rose Dominican RED program. For the first time, St. Rose Hospital is adding a junior division for ages 12 to 18. Basic High School has a team competing in the race, and they have officially challenged Foothill. To learn more, there's a meeting tomorrow in room 802 on Friday, April 29th, after school. Billboard Awards are all award shows we tend to watch around this time of the year. While those are fun to watch, and oh, all different kinds of awards, a different kind of award ceremony is taking place a lot closer to home. The Heart of Education Awards are taking place and three teachers from our school are finalists. The finalists are Tracy Martin, Chelsea Moss, and El Eliza Vanderveer. The finalists are invited to a special event at the Smith Center on Saturday, May 7th, and, for, and the top 20 finalists will receive $5,000 which is presented by The Win Las Vegas. You can vote for your favorite teacher by going to fstnews.com and clicking on the link to the voting website. As summer rapidly appro approaches, a lot of businesses are opening their doors to potential employees, making the job spotlight a lot easier to do. That's right, Marquise, and the job in our spotlight today is Kohl's. Kohl's is a department store filled with diverse departments from men's clothing, women's clothing, jewelry, and housewares. If you want a chance to work at Kohl's, you can go to fstnews.com and click on the link titled Kohl's Employment. The link will take you to the Kohl's online application. After the break, find out about how our Falcon sports teams have been holding up as of their spring season progresses. We'll be right back to AM in the AM. flood season is here. What's up Falcons? Starting off with softball, they have a game tomorrow. The varsity team is going over to Las Vegas and plays at 3.30. The JV team is staying here at Foodle and plays at 10. Throwing it over to baseball, they also have a game tomorrow with the varsity team going over to Las Vegas and they play at 3.30. And the JV team is staying at Foodle and plays at 10. From the fields to the court, the boys volleyball team is going over to the boys volleyball team is going over to basic on Tuesday. Both freshman and JV teams play at 5 and the varsity team serves at 6.30.
Diving into the pool, the dive team has a meet at the UNLV Buchanan Auditorium from 5 to 9. Then tomorrow, the swim team has a meet at the Heritage Park Aquatic Complex from 1.30 to 5. And finally, running over to track and field, they have a meet on Tuesday right here at Foothill from 3.30 to 8.30. Now back over to Ariel and Marquise at the monitor. Crushed pineapple, island punch, and blueberry are some of the few flavors being honored today. That's right, we're be not bean boozling you today because today is Jelly Bean Day. These sweet treats were first manufactured in, the, in 1860 by William Shraft, and surprisingly, jelly bellies appeared quite often throughout history. During the Civil War, William Shraft highly encouraged his customers to send his jelly beans to the soldiers serving in the war. Also, Well, there you have it. That's all we have for today. Don't forget to follow us on social media for more day-to-day -day updates. Stay gold, Falcons.